Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mommy and Me. Look who we have here today. <laughs> Mommy Angel <laughs> and the twinsies. <laughs> and these little baby boys. Yes. Hi. They the came to dolls. say hi. These little hi. besties. Yeah. They love to hang out. They do. It's so cute when they see each other because they get the biggest <laughs> smiles on their faces. And then we laugh because we put them together and then they're like both just clawing each other's faces. <laughs> like, I'm going to pull your hair in. Winston has this nice tuft of hair and Idris can always see it. And it's, he's just like... I didn't grab that little Where tuft of hair. Going? I think it's so cute. They explore each other. I know, it's really cute. Oh, and oh, these look. are two of the heaviest babies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't worry, they're being fed because yes, they yes. are solid as a rock. Yes, solid. I love it. He's so smiley now, this little schmoish. Mm -hmm. yes, finally, finally. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, and he's throwing hey. everything. <laughs> he is. That was a good throw. Maybe a little baseball player in your future. Oh, maybe. You guys want to see our baby update? Oh. Let's check it out. <laughs> My baby is Idris. He weighs 24.4 pounds. He is 30 inches. He loves to dance, stand, and read books with Michael and me. My babies are the Tanksley twins. They are the size of pineapples. They love to switch positions and try to make their mommy pee on herself. My baby is Winston. He weighs 20.8 pounds. He is 30 inches. He loves throwing a ball and playing patty cake and peekaboo with us. Okay, so the babies are taking a little break right now, but mm -hmm. don't you worry, because you're going to see them very soon. Mm -hmm. But I want some adult time. Yes, okay. it is always nice to have a little adult time. <laughs> Kaylee, how are you getting through the teething? You know what? Adventures. It's been, <laughs> it's been really hard. This month has been, or December, was really hard. Um, I feel like up until that point, I was just like, this is easy. I want like five more babies. This mm -hmm. is so fun. And then um, he started being more active, which was making me a little more tired. Mm. But then when he started teething, it was really hard. He was really upset all the time. He got a terrible diaper rash terrible diaper rash and a bad rash on his whole body and he was just miserable and then on top of that when he started teething I'm nursing and it was killing me bless your heart and I had I mean this is maybe too much information I like had little like sores yeah, and I was I'm like sure I don't know what I'm going to do Winston would not take a bottle. I've tried, I try every day. Mm -hmm. I, I always try to give him a bottle. He just won't. I pumped, tried to give him breast milk. He just does not want a bottle. And I was really having a hard time because I don't know what I'm going to do. When he would latch on, I was like, Ugh. it was killing me. And then I ended up getting mastitis because, oh. you know, of everything else. Yeah. So finally, I Googled it. I yeah. don't know why I didn't Google it earlier. And um, I just figured out that. I wasn't letting him latch on properly. Mm -hmm. He's been nursing for so long that, he, you know, we, I guess he was latching on, but not all, all the, the way. way on. So he was latching on enough difference. that it wasn't hurting because yeah. I know if they don't latch on enough that it can, that's like, it hurts so bad. Right, 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 right. But I wasn't making sure like it was all getting in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so once I changed that, it's fine. Yeah, great. It's fine. And, and luckily the mastitis cleared up. Um, as soon as his two little teeth popped through, he was happy again and his rashes went away. away. Good. So, good, but good, yeah, good. teething is just hard. And I know you mentioned that Marcus was good when he was teething. Yeah, I don't know. I really, it was like teeth showed up and I was like, oh, did we miss something? <laughs> I don't know. And it, maybe awesome. he was nursing more and that was what I was missing, mm -hmm. that he was soothing himself. He was like, I know it'll make me feel better. And yeah. they were always available. So. But yeah, no, he took it like a champ. And I'm like, oh, come on, have your brothers do the same thing, please. <laughs> I know, I hope so too. <laughs> With Braylee, I can't really remember. I remember her being a little fussy and, un and uncomfortable. And when Gage first started teething, his all popped through at like the same time. Mm, I remember he got like awful. two on the bottom and then he had two fang teeth. <laughs> he didn't get his two front oh my teeth. God. But he got them all at the same time. And I remember he was whiny a little bit and uncomfortable but neither of them got rashes or mm -hmm. anything but um i've heard that other babies can, can yeah. get diaper rashes but yeah poor winston and i'm a little nervous he's been a little bit fussy and i'm a little nervous that Thanks. we're about to pop some more some teeth, more teeth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so i'm just watching it really close and um I mentioned in our must-haves that I used some oils, mm -hmm. and the lavender oil really soothed his body with his rashes, and, and I used coconut oil, and then also you can rub it on their little gums to nice. you know help soothe mm -hmm. that pain, because that. I feel so bad for them. It's so uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, has Idris, 
Yeah, teething with Idris has been a little bit rough. <laughs> uh, I feel like it goes in waves where like every couple weeks there's like a three or four day patch where they're just moving on up and driving him crazy. It's mm -hmm. the nights that he's not sleeping where I feel like he doesn't want anything and he's just kind of screaming in pain. We got some like organic-y, naturally, whatever, uh, uh, topical, uh -huh. um, can't like think numbing. of the word. Yeah, no, like yeah. just a little numbing like cream and some other stuff that he can chew on to help. And that helps a little bit. I mean, getting it on is an interesting process uh -huh. when your baby is screaming and you're trying to stick a finger in their mouth to I rub know. on their gums. Mm -hmm. And then he, and then his gums started bleeding. And I, it, mm -hmm. and then a little yeah. tooth like kind of. So he's got one tooth like just popping out over here, and then one up top on the other side. <laughs> it's look a little it's funky for a while. When they start teasing. So cute. Yeah, it's just getting harder in general. We're not going out to eat as much, which mm -hmm. is probably good for our pocketbooks. I was, <laughs> who says pocketbooks anymore? Anyway? <laughs> for our wallets. It's good for my pocketbook. Uh, yeah, he's just wiggling. He wants to crawl. He wants to touch. He wants to play. Mm -hmm. He wants to scream. He wants to shout. But it's yeah. getting funner. It's so yes, fun. You know? that like, is such a fun time. He's way more interactive. He is exploring more. You just see him learning. I feel like he's going to walk any day now, mm -hmm. I feel like him and Winston are just really, like, kind of advanced right. with crawling and walking. And yeah, I, I at first thought I think Winston's gonna be like a little baby, a little longer than mm -hmm. the other two, because he just kind of seemed like really chill, like he didn't care. <laughs> and so I thought he's gonna be like my little baby, and then he started crawling at six months, mm -hmm. which was a month earlier than my other two, mm -hmm. and he's already, you know, has been for at least a month walking along mm -hmm. things, and like. What? You're my yeah. baby, sit down. But I feel like when I see Idris, you can tell that he's just like ready to go. And when he starts walking, I was like, oh, Charles, he's gone. He's going to be gone. Gonna I know. Be it's going to be any the need to second speed, now. Honey. Yeah. yeah. Um, Michael's youngest sister's little boys are coming to stay with us for a little while, and one of them's just a little over one. I feel like when he sees little Clark walking, I feel like he's going to pick it up like that when he sees, oh. like, that little baby does this, and then he does that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can do that, too. I mm -hmm. feel like it's going to happen that week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. But it's awesome. I mean, I just... I love my baby so much. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's the best. It's the yeah. best. And, I mean, being a parent and mom, you're going to have hard times, and yeah. you're going to be tired. And yeah. the other day, I was like, I don't know if I can do mommy and me because I feel like I can't give advice because I'm doing everything wrong. No, oh, And then I whatever. just thought, you know what? No one's doing everything perfect. No, except and me. And I wouldn't change. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I am, <laughs> but then. So listen to me, not. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't change anything. If I went yeah. back, I would do everything exactly the same. I know. Lil Marcus took a bottle when he was like one, two months or so. And then after that, he was like, no. Yeah. So he just drank milk exclusively until we added juice to the whole, you know, thing. And that was out of a sippy cup. Okay. So like the little, the, so it still wasn't a bottle, but it was one of the squishy little nipple sippy mm -hmm. cups. But I don't even think if I would have put breast milk in a sippy cup, he would have taken it. Really? I think he would have been like, mm -mm, this is like drinking wine out of a plastic cup. And some babies just have that that preference. I did not think that was going to happen with my son, but yeah. he did. And so these two, I'm hoping I can get them to like a bottle because I just know that it's not going to be. I plan on being a very busy mommy mm -hmm. where, yes, sometimes other people have to feed them. but. Right. Oh, I'm praying they're not like their brother, but it could happen. So no, you're see, not alone in the struggle. Yeah, you know, you just like, you get tired and yeah, you get like God, down you, on yourself. I, know. And I feel like you like, haven't had a break at who all. Who am I to give advice? No. <laughs> but, no, then, you're doing but then, so you know, good. you take a little nap and then you're like, okay, I got this. I yeah. can do it. I can I'm going to change the thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three minute nap. I'm good yeah. for like four days. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, two things, Angel. One, why do you look so good oh, with the heels and the lips and the hair? Stop. And mm -hmm. then two, um, how are you feeling in the home stretch? This is the home stretch, honey, and I'm trying not to fall apart. I, you know, I try to keep it together. You when are. When I come out to play. Oh, you look good. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really do. It's so funny. When I went home for the holidays, my sisters were like, why are you dressed like this? I said, because there's only two ways to look right. when you're pregnant. Either you look like you have it together or you look like you're on government assistance <laughs> and struggling. <laughs> I'm okay with yeah. either or right. because, hey, you got to do what you got to do. But I was like, for the holidays, I want people to think Angels has got it together. But um, home stretch wise, it's a new ball game. Mm -hmm. um, I'm no longer working out. I have 
taking a break from that. Um, the babies are definitely making their individual selves known. And oh yes, they are giving it to me. Like to the, I was uh, shopping at Ikea and they made me stop in my tracks. Like I had to, and I was holding on to furniture because really? I was just like, ah, this hurts. And because they were just like, <laughs> they were doing so They were hitting all types of like, I, what is, I don't even know what that body part is that you're on, but I feel like you should stop. I don't know how to get you to stop. I mean, for a while there, I didn't even know if it was a contraction or not because they, what they were doing was so uncomfortable. I just could not walk. I was like, we're just going to sit here and wait Ooh. until this ends. So it's a new ball game. Right. I still feel great. It's yeah. that, that hasn't changed. Like, but like in like bending over for a long period of time, no. Mm -hmm. All that stuff, it's gone. Those days are over. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I expected for things to change up a little bit and I'm not mad about it. Um, so I'm now seeing my doctor more often. Cause yeah, it could- Cause they could come literally anytime. any day. Yeah, like uh, during, we, I just today, I'd be 32 weeks. My cousin had her last set of twins at 32 weeks. I would be devastated if they yeah. came this early. I want them to stay in just a little bit longer. Yeah. But we're really here. We're yeah. You're we're here. here. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just like. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. There, there. It, it is definitely. This is where I know. That, yes, you are definitely carrying twins. They are making it. Okay. No. Yeah. There's I mean, two, Mama. When I was pregnant with Winston, I wanted. I prayed before I had, I got pregnant that I would have twins, and I just remember thinking, I'm so glad there's only one in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, I just can't imagine two just wing, 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 yeah. everywhere. Yeah. As much as I want to see them, there's a part of me that's like, if you just keep them in there, then you don't have to worry about two babies. They're just in there, because <laughs> like once they're both out of me, I'm there's literally. Two kids, that two babies depending on me to make rational decisions or, you know, make my mistakes not so big. And uh, I was yeah. watching your, one of your vlogs the other day, and you guys should check them out if you haven't because uh, I sweet. love watching your vlogs. <laughs> and um, you were saying, it just hit me that I'm having, I'm gonna have two babies. And I was like, it just hit you, Angel. <laughs> Every day I'm like, Angel's gonna have two of these. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I can't eat, I, it. I literally think about you like on a daily basis when I'm like, oh, this is hard. I'm like, but it's not gonna be anywhere near as hard as what Angel's But you know what, if, so. any, Shut it up, if anyone <laughs> could do it, I know it's you. Oh, I know we're, that it, as much as you I love to amazing. multitask, <laughs> yeah. I feel like oh. God was like, no, you like this type of yeah. stuff. <laughs> there you go. You don't like to focus on one thing at a time. <laughs> exactly. So I'm just like, hey, bring it on. I know it'll be a great journey. But like I said, when I see you two boys <laughs> at this stage exactly. and I saw Idris going like, I'll direct this episode of Mommy and Me. And then <laughs> Winston was like, I'll set up the lights. Yeah. It was like, they <laughs> I was like, oh, my goodness, that is the stage yep. that I'm just like. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. They will always be in a pack and play. They'll just be rolled everywhere. <laughs> right. I'm like, I'm not going to give you free range because right. I cannot chase both of you down. So yeah, like the infant phase, I'm like my husband says he can't wait until they're eight months. He was yeah. like, then they're firm and I can just right. toss them around. And I'm like, no, I like, <laughs> I like when they can't even hold up their neck. Okay. And I know that, you know, if I sit you right here on the ground, this is where you're going to be. Mm -hmm. He's like, mm mm, I don't like that. I'm like, yeah, wait until both of them start moving and you'll yeah. wish they were back to just. Yeah. That's what I want. Are you gonna let Marcus like hold them and like walk around with them and change diapers maybe? Are you gonna mm -hmm. let him play like a little mini parent? Role? Um, not walk around with them. Okay. Can't trust him to walk around with himself. Okay. Much less something, something else. alive. Yeah. Yeah. Like he could probably push them in their bassinet or push yeah. them in their stroller, but absolutely, I, he's gonna be able to feed them bottles, mm -hmm. help me change their diapers. Um, you know, things that don't involve him possibly dropping them. Mm -hmm. um, and he can hold them like if he's on the couch with me sitting beside him, mm -hmm. him. But I do want him to feel really confident and comfortable with the babies. Not too, I want him to know what his capabilities mm -hmm. are and him feel confident in those. I don't, you know, but he's only five. So I know I wouldn't trust him like getting me a baby to another room. Right. That's how I felt with Gage. I was like, you can sit right here. And I had one of those boppy pillows. Uh huh. But even, and maybe Marcus will be this way, Gage would hold him for a second and be like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I let, 
I let him hold one of my friend's babies for the sake of a picture. And him not really, him being five, right. after the picture, he was like, so, and the baby was just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm like, okay, so I know your mind is not that focused yet for you to realize if I do this, this will happen to the baby. So, I, you know. I'm going to work within his own capabilities mm -hmm. and really let him just shine through that. Like, help me get them dressed, put on their socks and shoes and stuff. Like, yeah. he'll be excited to do, uh, let him, like, read to them and stuff. Like, well, he'll read to them, excuse me, since he's learning how to read. So, stuff like that, that will make him feel very big brotherish. I'm nice. so excited to see that. So uh, I can't big, wait. Oh. I really cannot wait for that. Mm -hmm. For him to be excited and then for when it switches and they start to get excited about him. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Mommy and Me. Uh, make sure you head over to Maker TV so you can check out our Twitter episode that Fabulous Angel was on as well. As usual, like, share, comment, subscribe, show us some love, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. bye, -bye. I'm sorry, say is bye. this boring? Bye. bye. Say bye. bye. Oh, you can just talk to me. Just talk to me. It's fine. I do, we do, we do.